The triads come to collect debts. Jack protects his mother with an iron. Fatty's attacks were all caught by Jack's iron. The fat man is dumbfounded. Looks like he has to do it himself. The skinny one is very agile and dodges a lot. Suddenly the plug broke. The man smiled evilly and swung his fist. Jack took out the fan on the ground to defend himself. Thin man's hand is seriously injured. Looking at the thin man's expression of fear, Jack's mouth was twisted and began to show his operation. He used the fan to scare them, but he couldn't pay the electricity bill and the fan stopped. His mom laughed in embarrassment. Everyone laughed too. Suddenly Jack had a flash of insight and ran away without his mom. One of them ran and two of them chased him. They chased Jack for 18 blocks before they stopped him. The skinny guy said, show some respect for my overburdened lungs. He took out his knife and was ready to fight. At that moment, two patrol officers happened to pass by and scared them so much that they quickly leaned aside and pretended to be good citizens. But they weren't here to keep the peace. They were here to buy lottery tickets. Jack is a famous lottery ticket pan and in the village. Everyone in the neighborhood likes to buy lottery tickets from Jack, and they even like to bargain with him. You're only selling it for $50. Now the market is selling it for $80. Give me to for $150. Jack was a bit surprised. After buying the tickets, the patrol officers left. The two of them were lucky to escape. The skinny guy punched Jack in the face. He's so handsome. Who are you trying to seduce? Luckily, we're all struggling under the Pingu line. These two men aren't bad bullies. They took Jack's lottery box as interest and let him go for a while. But Jack felt a deep sense of resentment. Before the man was born, his father drove off with a beautiful woman, leaving him with a huge debt in his mother's belly. Feeling hopeless, the mother drank two bottles of detergent to end her life. The result was amazing. One bottle of acidic cleaner, one of alkaline cleaner. Neutralized, the doctor told her that the mother and child were safe and had a little boy. That's one tough little guy. So the mother resigned herself to her fate and raised Jack by selling lottery tickets. As the saying goes, a poor man buys lottery tickets and a poor man goes to the stalls. Jack's mother was poor, but she didn't like the stalls. So she fell into the sewer when she was walking on the road. Due to her back injury, Jack had to sell lottery tickets. Jack's mother was poor and wanted to change. While she helped sew clothes at home, she used the internet to sell online lottery tickets. That day, her mother told Jack that there were for lottery tickets for lottery 69. So don't sell them. There are 5 tickets in a set. If all 5 win, it's $33 million. Usually when you get for tickets, they'll leave the last one behind to try their luck. What if they win? That's right, if you win, you get 6 million plants. Mother was so happy, she could even think of a pig to kill. Jack, however, is sweating profusely. What happened to you? It's not that bad. The lottery ticket was robbed. Mother frowns in her tracks. The four men who ordered the ticket are on their way. She's carrying her luggage and ready to run away. When the ticket buyers come, they'll beat us to death. We can be reasonable. What do you mean, reason? You're going to hell to be with your master. As soon as she finished talking, she ran into the lottery ticket buyers because the ticket worth $30 million was robbed. The man joins forces with for hard-working laborers to get back their lottery tickets. But when they arrived at the police station, they found a corpse being carried in front of the station. According to the public, someone was blackmailed by the gangs and came to the police in a rage. But the police and himself are dead. Jack asked, don't the police care? He pointed to the corpse and said, this is the policeman in charge. He died the fastest. Why don't we go and rob them? Are you crazy? The gangster factory is patrolled 24 hours a day, with high-definition cameras in every corner, high-voltage grids on the walls, and if we add a few American soldiers, the level of protection is as high as she on my day. While everyone was worried, Jack came up with a brilliant idea. If we can't attack by force, we can take it by force. Jack immediately started to investigate. He heard from the lady, who sells fried noodles in front of the game, that this factory produces fireworks on the surface, but secretly it's holding a black boxing match. The boss keeps all his valuables in the vault, and the key to the vault is on the skinny guy who stole the lottery ticket. With enough information, Jack made a well-thought-out plan. When he told the plan, everyone understood it. Everyone laughed awkwardly. He laughed along with them. As a result, the man said, You're crazy. Who would go with you to die? But when we got back, everyone was in deep thought. Tom was a professional actor who couldn't survive more than one episode. He dreamed of becoming a big star, but he ended up at the bottom of the ladder. Peter was a professional boxer. He grew up boxing, but his talent was mediocre. He only won to fights in his career. After he retired, he became a salesman for toilet bowl cleaning pills. He's perfect in salesmanship but zero in practice. Mary is a professional saleswoman. She lives with her young brother. 
She sells cars in the morning, oil in the afternoon, and lingerie in the evening. She thinks her income is low because her breasts are not visible enough. She dreams of earning enough money to go to Korea for breast augmentation. Lily is a bit more miserable. Her father was hit by a rich kid who was drink driving and was hospitalized. The rich kid colluded with the officials and didn't pay her any compensation. She wanted to get back at him, but she didn't have a chance. So she tried to make money to hire a lawyer to sue him. In other words, everyone is waiting for this money to change their fate. Now that the chance to change their fate is right in front of them, they've decided to throw their money away. They all came over to Jack and prepared to work with him. As the plan began, Mary made a big sacrifice. There's a very pretty girl in the gangster's factory. Her red dress with big waves and sexy waist. The gangsters are drooling. Will their plan succeed? Will they be able to get their lottery tickets back from the gangsters? I'm Bulldog Movie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.